last four, the hometown hero. Here in the top left, this is Ayasonu. And in the bottom right, the Season 2 GSL Champion. This is Stats. A quick infestation pit here. Ayasunu might be wanting to go for those uh, swarmers again yeah. here that we saw earlier. He did that on this map as well. Uh, a very fast infestation pit, getting those like eight to ten swarm hosts out and just harassing the naturalism. Abusable terrain on an abyssal reef. Swarm hosts, uh, the swarm hosts aren't that uh, horrifying unit and hard to swarm that they once were. They can be caught with their pants down, and, w and when they're on cooldown, they are just walking gas fountains that don't actually do anything. So we're coming in here. He's gonna. Try and shoot off some of these locusts, but now the swarm hosts are very naked. Unless the links come in to get this around here, and there's no mother to call for recall or anything like that. Stats does have the warp prism to be able to micro back these adepts, and he does use it very, very well here. Does he have enough though? Yeah, that Archon here trying to get rid of some of these uh, swarm hosts. The Queen's moving in to try and snipe the warp prism, but they overextend a little bit, and Stats yeah. is going to turn around. Remember, he has the mobility. If he was to send that warp prism in the main base and did a big warp in, Asunu would be in trouble here because he's throwing away a lot of, a lot of units. I'm actually surprised to see that that actually keeps going for this. Yeah, the I next wave of Locust should clean up. I mean, the Locust wave is going to recharge momentarily here for Ayasonu, and he'll be able to clean up this army. These Archons are very hurt. There's not many uh, force fields left on these sentries. There's not a whole lot of zealots. So I feel like Stats should pull back and just take it easy. This one prism at the top, getting a little bit low here, still has an Archon inside of it, but he is going to just mosey on away. And there is one at the bottom. And there, yeah, there's a double war, war prism play here from yeah. Stats. So it's like a pylon that you can't snipe with just links because it's flying. So in this case, Stats can just keep on warping in zealots. The fact that there is a lot of units across the map for Ayasonu will is going to make it even harder for him to defend back at home. And he pulls the probes back nicely here, only loses a couple and storms those locusts. Taking this very, very seriously here. Uh, overcharge is going down as well just to burn down the rest of these locusts. And now the Swarm Host just waiting for a recharge to put on more damage. And Ayasonu actually getting a lot of bailings here. 34 bailings and four more Swarm Hosts. So just starting to beef out those Swarm Host numbers, making them incredibly difficult to deal with when you have that many locusts on the field. And just try to blow everything up, basically. He's getting a ton more links here right now. Yeah, look at the multitasking here as we're going to Stats' as first person view. Uh, he's, he's trying to catch those uh, swarm hosts, but he knows that he can get swarmed as well by the links plus locusts. And he just gets the bailings are going to roll in. Yeah, nice storms here from Stats. The Archon Stark tanking a lot of damage, but he doesn't have a whole lot left as soon as that guy's cleaned up. The locusts coming in, the links going this around to try and lock on these Archons. There's just not enough hit points left in this prism. It will go down eventually to those queens. And the locusts also tearing through Stats' army. And the prison gets taken out before he gets that big warp in. Wow. Oh no, Stats is against the ropes here. Ayasonu with 90 army supply over the 35 for the Protoss. Ayasonu in a great position now. There is only one war prism he needs to worry about on his side of the map. He's blowing up every single unit that comes out of it. And now the swarm hosts, they're going to be uncontested. I can't believe that Stats is struggling so much against this. I really thought he was going to be ready. But Ayasonu seems to be a master of the swarm host. Only here. two swarm hosts have died in this game. And Ayasonu has killed so many Protoss units. 10 Archons, 54 yeah. zealots have died in this game. There's still 21 swarm hosts. That's a lot of locusts that are going to be spammed every single time. The swarm hosts actually moved a little bit far out of position here. Nice micro here from Stas picking up this Archon every single time here into the War Prism. Phoenix should get to work here, as well as this Oracle. He could kill a lot of these guys. Yeah, he's dropping the Archons of the Swarm Host. I love the Archon drop on the Swarm Host. It's a great decision here from Stats. He does need wow. to have an incredible trade to try and win this game. He needs to get into these Swarm Hosts and start killing them off. He's finding it so hard. The Locust is zoning him out here. Get to work, Oracle. You're not doing anything. This Oracle is on smoke break, just taking it easy. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it can't handle the heat. <laughs> too hot here in Shanghai, too hot here in Abyssal. There it is. There we go. She's going to work now. Uh, no, not done. really. Laser beams, laser beams. Where's the laser beams? Okay, never mind. Finally getting rid of some of these swarm hosts there, thanks to the Phoenixes picking up these units. You, Wait, you see the Zelos on the top right hand side? If those were to counter the natural, I think that would go a lot here for stats. But right now he's focused on defending against these swarm hosts there. Ooh. Gets a pickup. And the High Templar, actually one of them gets picked up, another High Energy Templar nearly getting down at the Glings. Oh, a big, a big Locust Swarm here coming into the fourth Nexus. Some of the Swarms going down to keep those Locusts dead, but the Archons are starting to dwindle. Is this enough? Meanwhile, a big Zealot walking on the other side of the map for stats. Especially gonna... the High Templars here are all gone. There's not going to be any more Storms, and Ayasunu is going to go for the attack. Zealot counter-attack across the map. He's going to walk in, but there were Bailings ready. That was a brilliant move for Ayasunu. He had so many Bailings ready in that location. He knew that that was the yeah. only real threat here. 
And meanwhile, Ayasonu continues to do more and more damage to Stats. He's really, really close to the middle line. Feedback's going down these queens. It's a nice little move here from Stats, but I'm sure he would have rather had storms with that army. Making the Archons here, the Oracle, once again, with a lot of laser beam energy. Well, there we go, out of girl. Get in there. Get to work, Slacker. It's time for you to kill some swarm hosts. Zelos coming in from behind to, to try and catch these guys there. But the trades that Ayasunu gets every single time are just so much better. Trading mostly locals here for units, suiciding in bailings. Resources yeah. lost, actually fairly even, even though Stats has lost more right now. They're they on an equal base count, which uh, for this map is always going to happen. Pretty much Immortals are going for this swarm host. Yeah. Let me push back. He needs a couple more Hydras here to make sure that doesn't happen. And he is starting to make those Hydras, so a good choice for Ayasonu now. Stats, up. he just doesn't have an answer for the Swarm Host just yet. He tried double arc on War Prism, didn't work out. Now he's got a War Prism with two Immortals in it to try yeah. and pick them off. This and, and he just has to get into the Swarm Prism, the, the Swarm House count that he needs to win this game. At the moment, he just keeps taking free damage from these Locusts. Yeah, the Mothership Core is actually going to fall. Void Ray goes down here. I think uh, Stats was counting on that to, to try and clean up some of these Swarm Hosts. The Immortals that he's remaking, they're not rallied. They're just in his natural doing nothing. Yeah, they are now in this war prison to get some hurt on. A zealot warp in doing a lot of damage, actually getting 10 drones. And Ayasonu, not with much army, to, not with much economy to speak of, actually. He's only on 44 yeah. drones. Uh, I mean, the economy of Ayasonu isn't amazing, so uh, extra harassment here from stats. If he gets another 10 drones, that's going to force Ayasonu to go all in or something like that, or, or hang back and make drones again. Uh, it looks like he is pulling back with a lot of units to defend, just with Lings and Hydras. Ayasonu's reaction time is sick. Oh, the swarm was in the middle of the map. Almost went a little bit too far. They were super close to the army of stats, but oh! actually gonna land, land Locust on top of it. The, the Locust getting right on top of his high Templar. There's only three storms left here, or maybe four storms left for, for stats. He pulls back, doesn't get a bonus, doesn't overextend with those, with, those, uh, with those storms. Keeps the energy in, in check. Wow, what uh -oh. a sick game. Prism getting a little bit low. Archons I are gonna win the day if they stay out of the Hydralisk range, and they do. Ayasonu is really making uh, Swarmos look like the, the most viable strat almost here on this map. I'm surprised Stats is still alive considering the lead that Ayasonu had in this game and as it stands, this economy of Stats has been the what's keeping him alive whereas Ayasonu hasn't made a drone in a really long time. Yeah. He's just been losing drones and not replenishing the numbers. You, so. you see what Stats is doing by the way to try and counter the Swamos moving around and them being too fast? He made yeah. a bunch of Phoenixes. So the goal is going to be to catch them, pick them up and kill them eventually. If you can do that, and kill like say six or seven, then all of a sudden the army of Ayasonu is going to be so much worse in an instant. Forced to cancel here this Nexus here does Ayasonu with a lot of those lings. Ayasonu's yeah. defense against the Prism has been impeccable the entire game. He's never taken damage anywhere or non significant, and now he finds himself with a huge supply lead 156 Ooh. army supply to 82. And, and I think it might be time. And he's going to go for it. He had a lead like this before with his army supply. This is a pretty intense, though. The Phoenixes can shoot the Locusts while they're in the sky. And then when they land, the, Arch the Archon's doing the rest. And here comes the big attack from Ayasoni. The Storms go down for stats. But the Bandlings connect with a lot of the Protoss army. Most of the Immortals are dead. Only three left here. And all the Zealots have to die as well. The Archons are gone. And it looks like stats actually is out of Storm energy as well. No much, there's not much juice left in the Tankley's Templar or for stats. Yeah, the attempt at a mothership here is almost cute at this point. I feel like stats must be getting a little bit desperate. The next wave of Locust is going to be harder and harder to hold every single time. And Phoenix? Yeah. They actually are only effective for a small window of time, and then they just get off charge and they don't do much attack. But this time, the Locusts are coming in. The Overseer is detecting the army of stats. Not enough for Ayasonu, though. Stats hold strong, and the Phoenixes are coming back as well to punish him for this. And just like that, there's no more Overseer. This is what I was talking about. He feed back to a couple of these guys. And the Archons took care of the rest. The Phoenixes finished off the last Overseer. He's going to force way more here from Ayasunu, who's right now struggling and uh, on the verge of potentially losing that first game after I thought he was in a really good position. Stash just refused to die. Uh, Ayasunu was nearly up 100 supply several times in this game. I think he could have gone for it at some point on the, that fifth yeah. base of very, stats. Very likely. But as it stands, Stats with a fighting chance. He's deep on the creep here. Storm's going in. He has plenty of storms going down on this army. The Mothership's going to go down, though. And Ayasonu, does he have enough to clear up this army of Stats? The Phoenix is being so critical here for Stats. Picking up those Swarm Hosts, picking up the Queens as well, and taking them out. I think Stats might have finally held on and stabilized here. He's starting to catch up in army supply. His plus three attack, making his ground army so strong. And the Phoenix is actually getting bullied back by the Hydras. His Phoenix count actually isn't great anymore. 
Uh, but Stats still has a good number of Zealots. He has yeah. Archons again. I mean, this is forcing Hydralisks, which are not going to do well against Charlotte Archon plus High Templars potentially. Right, Another yeah. Mothership is going to start there. And the War Prism up there still harassing. He's kept that alive for such a long time here, these Stats. Mothership being remade here in the main run by us. So now Stats can sta can and has stabilized here against Aisanu with this crazy style. He's coming in. He wants to go for a big attack at this fresh Nexus. Stats at the back here with a bunch of High Templar. Wants to get those big storms on. And here he comes with the Archons. Where are the Zealots to tank here for the army? The Locusts are actually pulling him back. What a crazy game, man. So action-packed, like back and forth somehow, even though like I was so ready to call it. And God knows I hate when people do that. You know, I've kept my eyes <laughs> on the supply. That's right. And stats, it seems like he's fully back in it. Getting ahead on army here, finally. It's, it's so rare when you see someone be so far down in supply, manage to come back and make a real fight out of it, especially at this level of play. Uh, I don't think he has much in the Phoenix count. No, just the one Phoenix now. 600 links have died. Wow, that's insane. Press F to pay 109 respects. Banelings and 30 Swarm Hosts and 22 Queens have died in this map as well. This is, this is a bloodbath. They're really far away now. Yeah, they are. They're kind of behind enemy lines. Yeah, maybe they can get him a sandwich, attack with the Zerg units on the top and Locust to bully him back in, but he can still recall with his mothership and yeah. things get dicey. As Asuna is making sure he gets enough overseers here, there is four in total, but he flies them too far forward because I think they're grouped with his units. Hey, look at this. They keep on flying forward. Down. He doesn't quite have enough energy for a recall, actually, but it looks like he may have enough to just engage straight up, and he does. He takes a nice engagement there, and Ayasonu suddenly not up an army supply anymore. Stats takes the lead in this hatchery. It's the only mining base for Ayasonu when it's going to go down. If he doesn't react here, Storm's going down. Bullying back those foremost, and GG well played. Stats coming back and taking game number one against Ayasonu, who was up almost 100 supply twice in that game. Stats showing his mastery in this matchup. He's not going to go down to him this time. The soup lied for once here. Ayasunu with 57 resources lost. Stats 61,000. Even though he lost more.